Welcome back. So we're talking about this uh, roadmap, Control for Societal Scale Challenges Roadmap 2030, an IEEE Control System Society publication. And we're zooming into the chapters of this roadmap. So I'm really excited about this one. So this video is going to zoom into chapter three, Technological Trends, which I think is one of the more exciting kind of areas in general, is technology is advancing at such a rapid pace in so many fields, sometimes it can feel overwhelming. Even as someone who is kind of in the middle, middle of these technological developments, I feel overwhelmed. But it's also really, really exciting. Uh, the tools we have access to to solve societal scale challenges are getting better so fast, it's really, really exciting. So this is a chapter uh, I'm really excited to tell you about, and I hope you have as much fun uh, as I have making this. So just some of the pieces of chapter three, technological trends. This is really talking about what are the large kind of broad developments in the world that are advancing our technical capabilities. So things like AI and big data. This is undoubtedly changing pretty much every field of engineering, every industrial landscape, all of science and technology is being advanced by AI and big data. That's, you know, this has as much potential, many people think, as cell phones or the internet or you know the electric light so really exciting and we're still wrapping our heads around what are the societal scale implications of AI and big data and how are we going to be able to use these to solve uh, societal challenges that we couldn't solve before uh, electrify everything this is a really cool trend and a very uh, powerful trend with a lot of momentum that increasingly every sector of our society is becoming more and more electrified. So there are strains on our power grid, distributed um, power generation sources and power drawing, uh, you know, sinks are becoming increasingly complex as everything is increasingly electrified and connected. So that's a really cool and important technological trend. Uh, engineering biology, this is a really, really exciting field. This has some of the most sci-fi futuristic potential uh, applications of, of any of these trends. I guess all of these really do. But engineering biology really is at this interface of how do you engineer in biological systems and how do you engineer biological systems to solve engineering tasks? How do you make organisms that generate uh, you know, fuel sources or medicines? Super cool super sci-fi and advanced, but it's actually real world. This is, this is uh, it's, it's reality now. We're actually doing this and it's very exciting. Uh, and then robots in the real world. So the promise of having you know, robots in our lives has been around forever uh, in, in at least modern science fiction. So if you think about the Jetsons or you know, uh, kind of 1950s, 1960s concepts of the future, there are robots uh, among us. And it took a long time, but increasingly robots are finally getting good enough to be able to work in unstructured, uncertain environments, actually have some autonomy and some shared human uh, robot decision making and uh, really really exciting trend I think you know we're all gonna see this this uh, become a big driver of technology in the future okay so that's what's in this uh, this chapter and I'm just gonna again zoom into little bits and pieces but this is a pretty broad chapter it's about 50 pages about 20% of this roadmap so again download this yourself read it uh, you know see what you think about these technological trends and see if you think that there's any missing or if there are areas in here that you're really excited about maybe there's connections to the future problems and societal challenges that you know were not made in this that you want to make this is a you know hopefully kind of a living idea space that you can contribute to as well. So one that I think is super exciting is AI and big data. This is, you know, I'm a researcher in this field, especially in how uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and big data can impact modeling and control systems, engineering systems. But this is undoubtedly one of the largest areas of rapid growth uh, in science and technology today. So, you know, crazy examples like taking a still image of the Mona Lisa and making her come to life with machine learning, things that were science fiction 10 years ago are science reality today. And this is just one of many examples of things that we didn't 
didn't think would be possible that we can now, right? ChatGPT can write brilliant essays. They can help collaborate with us on ideas. They can make itineraries if you're traveling to a far off location. Uh, the Possibilities are endless, and we're still wrapping our heads around how we integrate this into control systems, how we use these to solve societal scale challenges. Okay, um, One of the things I like about this, this chapter and this roadmap in general is it thinks about not just what are the big trends, but what is the technology driving these trends. So for example, in machine learning, if you think about the rapid rise of machine learning just in the last 10 years or so, there are some pretty uh, reasonable baseline technologies that have advanced that have enabled our advances in machine learning. Things like hardware, GPUs and TPUs, graphics processor units and tensor processing units have, you know, our hardware is much, much better. We have better uh, neural network architectures and math algorithms. We have industry investment in open source software and things like that. And there's many others, but you know, these are just some of the, the things that are actually driving this technological trend in machine learning. Um, you know, other things like benchmark data sets, this ImageNet uh, data set, and things like that, like the OpenAI Gym uh, or Mujoku, are driving advances in these fields as benchmark problems. Okay, so, so it's really important to think not just what is developing technologically, but what are the foundations that are enabling those technological trends, like hardware and software and algorithms. And especially in big data and artificial intelligence, we have this explosion of, let's say, neural network architectures and algorithms and software. And so really trying to understand in a principled way, how do we apply these to systems with physics, to you know, do physics-informed machine learning, to develop control laws for systems that have symmetries and conservation laws and are governed by F equals MA. This is really important to start developing these AI and ML tools into our engineering landscape and especially into our control theory landscape so that we can start getting the best of both worlds. Okay, so that's a really exciting uh, challenge and area. Uh, biotechnology is another one that I think is just absolutely fascinating. Bioengineering um, is one of these fields that a number of decades ago seemed, you know, kind of science fiction, but advances in especially control theory for synthetic biology are driving really new capabilities where we can actually start to use the mechanisms and machinery of life in an engineering sense to build engineering circuits out of biological materials. And if you think about it, the most efficient uh, means of energy conversion on Earth, you know, from sunlight into, into energy is, is biological, right? Plants have covered the surface of the Earth, algae in the ocean. How do we harness this for, uh, again, solving these societal scale problems for energy, for climate, for developing new medicines uh, and, and health treatments? All kinds of applications here. Really, you know, the sky's the limit. And I, I highly recommend you, you read about these and get uh, integrated and understanding on these topics because this is going to change the world. And you know you don't necessarily have to be developing in this field, but we should be aware of the technological trends that are changing the world. This is absolutely one of them. Super fascinating uh, and challenging and important area of bio technology, engineering biology, synthetic biology. Some of the control theorists I respect the most have moved into this field. Uh, that's a strong signal to me, again, of the importance and kind of interest and excitement that's going on in this field. Uh, and then, of course, robotics. Robotics is uh, a super exciting field. It's almost a field, uh, you know, a, a field on its own. It is a field on its own. Control theory is clearly central to robotics. Uh, these are control systems that are governed by physics. Very uh, highly constrained optimization problems go into making robots work. And now in the modern era, these robots have to deal with uncertain environments. Uh, they have to work in unstructured environments. They have to make decisions alongside humans. They have to be you know, safe and certifiably safe. And of course, we also are going to be using machine learning and artificial intelligence 
in our development of robots, these robots are going to be learning from their environments and adapting. And so it's a really interesting and rich kind of multi-physics, multi-scale, multi-technology playground, but also really, really important. There's a lot of societal scale challenges that we believe robots will be uh, at the center of. So super exciting, um, you know, again, important area for us all to be aware of what the trends are, you know, what is the history, where is it going? And that's something I think, you know, that this roadmap really does a great job of is providing that context, specifically where do control theorists fit in? How do we start working together, you know, to advance and utilize and leverage these technologies for these societal scale challenges? Super exciting. Uh, highly encourage you to read more about this. Thank you.